Welcome back to the channel, y'all. In this video, I want to share with you guys um, the on these hyper tough lawnmowers. They both are good mowers. I got actually got three of these, and the engines and still run good. But my main concern is the wheels fall apart. Look at here. The wheels fell apart on this one. Yeah. The frame on this one is real bad. I actually freewheeled this one without the uh, adjustment. I just freewheeled it because I couldn't had to jerry rig it without the adjustment in there. And uh caused the frame so worn out. So um I'm gonna order a new one anyway, but this one here, just wanna let you guys know I had two of them, three of them. And all of them actually fell apart on the wheels. The motors and stuff like that is great. It's the wheels where they fall apart at. As long as you can figure out a way to wheel, put some extra wheel or something with them wheels and stuff in, that's pretty cool. But I think I'm going with a different kind this time. I don't think I'm going to go back to ordering this one. I'm looking at a Yard Max more. I'll do a video on that. I'm going to get some opinion from you guys first before I buy one because, uh, these mowers, the motors run good, but they fell apart on the wheels. So, that's kind of a big concern. After about a year or two, and then the wheels start getting weak. So, you got a good motor with a, with a deck that's fell apart in a year or so. So, anyway, that's what I feel y'all in. There's some good mowers, good engines on these mowers, but the wheels, the decks are so thin that the wheels just fall apart. Uh, that's all I can say. Walmart Hyper Tough Lawn Mowers. They're good mowers. If you can reinforce the wheels, you got a, a workhorse of a lawn mower. All of them is good. Till next time, I'll hit y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.